Ready, aim, fire. Hello everyone, it's Osnos HD here, you can call me on, and welcome to another episode of Diego Costa's Road to Spain. Uh, this is episode number four. Now, before we get into it, just to let you know, I do, uh, I do, I am quite ill right now, so apologies for the bad vocals and all that jazz. But anyway, getting into the episode, this is the team that we left with last episode, and today's episode is an absolute cracker, and we'll get into it now. But um, yeah, there's a lot of room for improvement, and um, yeah, make sure we can we hit ten likes this episode. That would be greatly appreciated. But anyway, we'll get into our first game and see how many upgrades we could get. Now, our first opposition was this silver team with Man of Match Sun, and he looked quite a dangerous player um, in this in this team. But um, yeah, he's a really nice Man of Match card, which I would like to use sometime. But he didn't cause me that much damage. But in the 14th minute, we um, start the game off very well with a lovely Diego Costa finesse into the top corner, getting one goal and one upgrade already in the 14th minute. It was a great start to the game and a lovely goal as you can see here by the replay. The finesse was just unbelievable only going in when it hit the back of the net always curving outside. Great goal and then he made a little mistake with the keeper here 1-2 with uh, Sanchez and Costa had no difficulty finessing that in the bottom corner. Now this is the best goal of the series by far. Costa just comes and wraps his foot around and would you know it goes in. What a goal that was. Absolute bloody screamer from Costa. Just finesses it and it just loops into the top corner. 1-2 from the set piece. And then just look at this. Boom. Absolute beauty. I couldn't go over um, when this I couldn't go over it when this went in. Just flew in and uh, my gas levels were an extreme. I'll tell you that for free. But anyway, we continued after getting Costa's hat trick. And Costa then got a fourth with this little scramble, which led to the poking. Well, with Costa, that was really nice, and him getting his fourth goal, and then the 47th minute, just after half time, Costa finessed it past the keeper to get his fifth of the game, uh, which is unbelievable, and uh, it was a really nice goal, <clears throat> and a nice little striker's finish, and um, yeah, that's that's just what you do, of course, you just run past defenders, and you put it in the back of the net, because his finishing is so good, as you can see there, with that lovely tight near post finesse. Then we have a nice little individual goal. Costa just dribbling past people and slamming in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, that's his sixth goal. So that's two hat-tricks already, which is just insane. But believe me, lads, there is more to come as he got gets his sixth in the 68th minute. Um, but yeah, he had an absolute crack of a game, this opponent. And I'm surprised he didn't quit, really. But Costa came here in the 71st minute, drew past defenders, and surprise, surprise, Gets a bit lucky, but still puts the ball in the back of there, which he's in the team for. Getting his seventh goal in the 72nd minute. And in the 81st, believe it or not, he gets his eighth. Absolute beauty of a goal. Averaging uh, about one goal every ten minutes here. And, uh, yeah, it's a very good goal from Diego Costa there. Strikers finish. Takes a pass and boom. It's in the back of the net. And then to finish it off, we get brought down for a penalty in the 90th minute. And this was quite tense because if this penalty went in, it would be a triple hat-trick. would just be insane. So I had to put this one away. And um, I was quite nervous as Diego Costa went up to take it. But he did. I took quite a long time in the bar because I, I knew I had to score this one. And I hit it and it went in. Surprise, surprise. Great little penalty, actually. Thought it was going wide at first, but <clears throat> it just managed to sit in the right hand side of the goal so I was really happy with that goal and um, and then we had the triple hat trick and that was the last like moment of the game so as you can see here somehow Costa got joint man of the match but actually didn't get the man of the match Manir did who is a great striker he did get three assists but Costa did get nine goals hence getting the triple hat trick so if we go to the rule sheet we can see that Costa gets nine upgrades for the nine goals plus three which is 12 for the upgrades for the the three um, hat tricks, and then also one upgrade for the the win, which means that we get thirteen upgrades. So as you can see here, as there are so many, I'll just switch from this team to this team, which is our new team now, which is just insane. We've got thirteen upgrades, so we're so close to getting those non-rare golds, which is really awesome. And yeah, so we'll go into the next game and try and f complete f fully complete our um, silver team. And this was the team we faced—a really crap bronze team. With a lone name more on the left wing, and I believe that is Paradez up front. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
we got into the game and straight away in the seventh minute, Costa just took a pass to everyone and slammed it near post. An absolute cracker of a finish. And uh, I was really happy to score that goal. Sorry about my phone going off there. But anyway, yeah, that was a really nice goal. And then Costa add to his tally. Nice through ball. And he just absolutely dinks the shit out of that. And um, it was insane, really. It was just a delightful goal. And really, really nice chip. It was just really nice goal. And then he rage quit due to how nice the goal was, I presume. He just couldn't handle any more. Costa getting um getting two goals and us getting the win. But that is just a really, really great episode. And then we'll go into the rules again. And as you can see, we get two upgrades for the two goals and a upgrade for the win. So if we go into the team, we can see that we just make sure we upgrade to the full silver team. So we have... Uh, sil non rare silver goalkeeper, non rare, non rare silver CDM, and then we change the striker. And then, um, oh, and we also got another upgrade for the rage group, which I forgot to mention, which is the sad departure of Munir, who's been a great striker, but now we've got Perrier up front holding the line. But that is the end of the episode. It, I, I hope you agree with me that it's been a phenomenal episode. We've got so many upgrades, so make sure you smash the like button there. Maybe 10 or 15 likes would be appreciated. Comment down below anything you think I could prove on. But that's all from me now. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.